Adam Scott, you're not paying me enough. Welcome back. Well, how often do you think about throwing those banana peels or apple cores in the compost, but end up just putting them in the garbage instead? Well, according to some astounding stats, a lot of us use the garbage more than we should. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today for the Green Update. My name is Matt Higgs from Peterborough Green Up and today I'm joined by Carolyn Ross, an educator with Green Up and we're at Adam Scott Collegiate and Carolyn has been working with some students here. Carolyn, tell us what you've been doing with the students. Well, we've been working on a, what we call a waste reduction action plan. Um, it's entailed a, a bit of education about the link between waste and climate change, so how consumerism is contributing to climate change through all the transportation of goods um, and the manufacturing of goods. Okay. So we've done some education on that, and then the students have had the chance to actually uh, put together an action plan to reduce waste in their school. Okay. Yeah. And what is involved in the action plan? Well, the first part of the action plan was we did a waste audit. Okay. So we looked at, we took a bag of garbage mm -hmm. and we divided it into three. So uh, recycling, compost, and garbage. Okay. Um, and we found that pretty much 80% of what's in the garbage can is divertible. Okay. Um, so then, and a lot of that was compost. And so the students decided, they're doing a whole bunch of different things, um, but they decided to start a composting project. Um, they decided to do a, a bit of an awareness campaign by showing a movie to the whole school in an assembly. It's called The Story of Stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, and they're also promoting litterless lunches, so trying to get students to use, um, to bring reusable containers to bring their lunches to school. So that's basically what they've been doing. Sounds like a lot of fun, and I understand you've been working in some other schools in the city as well. Yeah, so this Waste Reduction Action Plan is in, uh, currently in four high schools, um, three in Peterborough, one in Norwood. Um, and in each school, it's, it takes on its own flavor. Um, in one school, we're doing another litterless lunch campaign. Um, in another school, composting, of course, and trying to change the infrastructure in schools to make sure that every garbage can always has a recycling bin next to it so we can catch a lot of that recycling that's, um, that's being thrown out into the garbage cans. All right. Thanks for talking to us today, Carolyn. Thanks for having me. Does the cheese have to be taken off? Okay. Do you want to put Gary or into the Yeah. Yeah. And with me now is Jonathan and Elizabeth. They're two students uh, from Adam Scott and they're members of the Ecos Club. Uh, Jonathan, what did you learn from your waste audit here? From this, the most surprising thing, about 50% of our waste from the three bins we collected is compost. So half what we throw out could be compostable and we do have a compost at our school. So to see that happening is kind of shocking. And Elizabeth, what are some of the things you want to change? Um, well, here we're trying to get people to bring less litter in the lunch. We're trying to get them to bring Tupperware. Mm -hmm. um, and we're also trying to just make people more environmentally aware about the impact they have on what's around them, um, using the resources that we have at the school. We do have plenty of recycling bins and the compost here, as John said, but it's just it's not being used. It's, it isn't very convenient, I guess, for them. So. Okay. And do you guys have any plans to make students more aware so they, that they can use these? Yeah, there's... Uh, the one movie we watch in here, The Story of Stuff, which is quite interesting. We're planning to show that in an assembly sometime later this year. Yeah. Um, one of the things that was really interesting from that movie was that it was saying that we buy so much and that only 1% of what we buy is actually in use six months after we buy it. All right. Yeah, so we just create so much waste that I think it really opened everyone's eyes to what's going on. Okay, that's great, guys. Thanks for joining me today, and thank you for joining me as well for the Green Update, and we'll see you next week. The Green Update is brought to you by the City of Peterborough, reminding you to separate your recycling into two streams, paper products and film plastics or containers. If you have any questions about today's episode of The Green Update, call Peterborough Green Up at 745-3238.